Hello children, today we are going to start the 8th lesson of the grade 11 science curriculum. Our topic is heat. Ok children, what is the heat? Heat is the type of energy. The energy transfer from one object to another as the result of the temperature difference between two objects. Sun is the main energy source which give heat energy to the earth. Heat energy used in various activities in our day to day life. Now I am going to discuss about the heat transfer. In this example, a heated iron ball has put into a cold water container. After a while, the temperature of the water and vessel increases because they absorb heat from the iron ball. The temperature of the iron ball gradually decreases because the heat flow out from the iron ball. After a while, the temperature of the iron ball and the water become equal. In this occasion, the heat does not flow to the water from the iron ball or to the iron ball to the water. This state is known as the thermal equilibrium. What is that? The thermal equilibrium. In this slide, I have given the rules of heat transfer. We will see what are they. Heat transfer from a body at higher temperature to body at lower temperature. Second one. The temperature of the body at the lower temperature increases. At the same time, the temperature of the body at higher temperature decreases. Finally, both objects come to an thermal equilibrium state. Okay children, our next topic is heat capacity. I have given an example at the right side of the page. What can you see there? There are 1 kilogram of water and 1 kilogram of cooking oil. Then both of them are heating for 1 minute. After that, their final temperatures have given here. The final temperature of the water is 30 degrees Celsius. And the final temperature of the cooking oil is 60 degrees Celsius. The cooking oil heats up higher than the water. What is the conclusion? You can say like this. The heat capacity of cooking oil is higher than the heat capacity of water. So, we can build up the definition of heat capacity like this. The amount of heat required to increase the temperature of an object by 1 unit. The SI unit of heat capacity is joules 
केले नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी वट इज दैट द डेफिनेशन इज लाइक दिस द अमाउंट ऑफ हीट रिक्वायर्ड टू इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ अ यूनिट मैस ऑफ अ गिवन सब्सटेंस बाय वन डिग्री द एस आई यूनिट ऑफ स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी इज जूल्स पर किलोग्राम पर किलो इन हियर यू कैन सी द फॉर्म्यूला ऑफ स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी वट इज दैट फॉर्म्यूला क्यू इक्वल एम सी थीटा क्यू इज द अमाउंट ऑफ हीट एनर्जी एम मैस C specific heat capacity. Theta is the temperature change. That means final temperature minus initial temperature. You already know the units, right? The unit of mass is kilogram. The unit of specific heat capacity is joule per kilogram per degree Celsius. The SI unit of temperature is degrees. Celsius. Okay, children. Our next part is change of state of matter. I will give some examples for you. Melting of ice. In that occasion, ice change into liquid water. Second one, boiling of water. In there. liquid water turn into water vapors in those occasion the change of state of matter has happened as a result of heat change by gaining heat or by losing heat so what is this incident change of state of matter the definition is this the conversion of the state of a substance from solid liquid or gas into another state is known as the change of state of matter in this picture you can see the change of states in water first one vaporization what is that turning liquid into gas then condensation turning gas into liquid then freezing what is that changing liquid into solids then melting turning solids into liquid then sublimation what is that changing solids into gaseous state and also deposition okay now what can you see in this picture you can see the ice is melting the solid state turning into liquid state and the temperature drops gradually so you can see the temperature varies 0 degrees celsius so it is the melting point what is that the temperature which is solid substance change into liquid state in this picture you can see the liquid water has converted into ice freezing so what is the freezing point 
the temperature which a liquid state convert into solid state the temperature which a liquid state convert into solid state okay children what can you see in the diagram yes the water is boiling the liquid water absorbing heat and they are turning into water vapors in here liquid water is changing into gaseous state so what is the boiling point the temperature which a liquid turn into gaseous state today we have completed the first part of the lesson hope to meet you with the second part of this lesson till then have a nice time goodbye and thank you